So, Bruno and I came to Paris. It was the first time I'd been back since... Well, since the last time. I was on the trail of Cesaro and the Dragon Power. We waited till it got dark. Then Bruno led me through the back streets to the place he suspected. I waited while he checked the readings on his mysterious device. My calculations indicate that this is the place. Behind that wall? Are you sure? My machine tells me it is there and I have no reason to doubt it. Okay. Well, let's get inside and take a look. No! I am not going in there. I said I would bring you here, and that is what I have done. I am not going in there. Bruno, you're just being paranoid. No. It is only paranoia when they are not out to get you. Okay, Bruno. You stay here. Bruno, are you sure this is the place? Yes. Here is the place the machine is indicating. Well, if the machine said it was so, I wasn't going to argue. So, Bruno, what kind of place is this? Purpose of building is irrelevant. And what am I looking for? I have no idea. Okay, so I enter a place I've never been in, looking for something I've never seen. Yes, he's like one of your witty jokes, is it not? How's everything, Bruno? Oh, everything is tickety-boo. Apart from the fact I have a crazy man trying to kill me. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? I think I will be better out here, thank you. How reliable is that machine? I mean, how many of these Earth power sites have you found with it? You understand nothing. It's not about understanding. It's about believing. The door was locked tight. I'd have to find another way in. It was a large recycling dumpster. I wondered what sort of things the French recycled. The lid had been propped open. I couldn't close the lid from the ground. The window was latched inside. One of the panes was smashed, leaving a gaping hole. Suddenly, I was very scared of what lay ahead. Aha! The window opened easily. I found myself in a book repository. Nothing happened.
It was a light switch. The door looked sturdy. There was nothing behind the door, or my ear problem was back. Either the door was stuck, or it was just locked. Books on conspiracy theory. On the shelf below, the label read, Conspiracy Practice. A small metal filing cabinet. The labels on the drawers indicated that they were for storing the bills and paperwork. The drawers wouldn't open. They were securely locked. I thought about it, but decided not to do it. This was a strange section. Secret doors and tunnels, construction and maintenance. There was a little plaque on the top of the shelf. These books kindly donated by the governor of Alcatraz. The filing cabinet was locked and I didn't have the key. Books on the occult and the paranormal. Hmm, sacrifice made easy. 101 ways to kill a goat. The perfect Christmas gift. There was a box in the way of the switch. There was a box in the way of the switch. There was a box in the way of the switch. There was a box in the way of the switch. The room was just a storeroom. A 
The trap door was set flush into the floor. Even with nothing in the way, the trap door was difficult to see. There was a gap between two of the floorboards just big enough for my fingers. Pulling it open must have caused the scratches. A ladder led down into a well-lit passage. It looked like Bruno could be right. Hey, they got a show. It was some kind of a rehearsal. As a one-time director of the Idaho Players, I was no stranger to the thespian arts. Where is it? We must have the location. I tell you, I don't know. <sighs> ah! Let me do this properly. I know I can break her. As you wish, Petra. I'm not scared of you, you bunch of thugs. Bravo. <laughs> Ooh. Senior Cicero, sir. Sorry to bother you. Yes, what is it now? We got a little problem downstairs. To be precise, Flap, what kind of a problem? An intruder problem. A guy's getting killed problem. Ah. Just as I was getting comfortable. Suzaro! This was no rehearsal. And the girl giving the Oscar performance was my old friend Nico. This is very tiresome. You will stay here, Miss Collard. Don't try anything. Some hope. What do you think I'm going to do? Ask the audience for help? Flap, you watch her like a hawk. Like a hawk, Senior Cicero. The name is Suzaro. Senor Suzaro. Do try and make an effort, Flap, or I shall have to kill you too. It looked like a disposable cup. It had been crushed. I couldn't hear anything behind the door. It was locked and wouldn't open. Dust and Weevils, my favorite theater snack. I was wasting time when I should have been helping Nico. I couldn't open it because it was locked. I kept thinking of Nico's desperate situation.
Whoa! The gangways were dangerous. They'd fallen away in places. It was a long way down. The rope held up the lighting rig. The lighting rig lowered part of the way, but then jammed fast. Hanging from the rigging was a sandbag, which acted as a counterweight. Another sandbag was hanging from the rigging. I hoped this would get his attention. Heads up, buddy. Well, well, well. Nicole Collard, tied to a chair, needing to be rescued again. George! Don't just stand there. Untie me. You know, this is becoming a habit. Maybe you should seek help. Okay, okay. Come on, hurry. Jeez, these knots are tight. Aha, got it. Seriously, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And it is good to see you. Your timing's perfect. It always was. So, how's Idaho, George? Same as ever. It's a great vacation state. You ought to visit sometime. Got any friends who'd put me up? I could put a word in for you. You're a real sport. Why the sudden interest in theater? I'm on the trail of a guy who killed one of my clients. A man called Suzaro. That's the maniac who captured me. I know. I was watching from the stalls. Thought you were pretty good, by the way. Thanks. I wasn't looking forward to the next scene, though. Yeah. Those guys, they got their own special twist on the word corpse. So tell me about Cesaro. Cesaro connects back to the Neo-Templars. Surprise, surprise. That explains idiot guy over there. So why are you here? The blonde. She killed the guy I was due to interview. Tracking her down brought me here. We're working on the same case. Now that's amazing. Only if you believe in coincidence. Do you? No. Me neither. Come on, George. We can't sit around here all day. Nico? Yes, George? I wonder if you could help me out. It depends on what you want. So, Nico, you still a reporter? Not according to my editor. Well, what happened? You get fired? No. I quit first. So why did the blonde kill the guy you were interviewing? He was trying to contact me. Said he had information about all this weird meteorological stuff going on. Said the world was going to end. Flat believed in traveling light, just his IQ and his gun. Me, I just put faith in the old IQ. Nice to see someone else with a headache for a change. I knew the guy all right. He used to work for the Grand Master. Flap, they called him. Last time I'd seen him, he was falling from an express train in Scotland. Just too butt ugly to die, I guess.
Seeing Nico again was a strange experience. She was more beautiful than I remembered. Not that I would have dared tell her so. I'd found a box of theatrical grease paints. The sight transported me back to another day in Paris, a peaceful cafe and a clown. And boy, did I hate clowns. I stuck my hand into the box and grabbed a stick. Bestheimer's number seven, white. What a lucky guess. It was just a wig mannequin. The drawers in the dresser were empty. They looked as if they'd been emptied years ago. Damn! The safe was locked. But on reflection, that was hardly a surprise. The rotting floor had begun to buckle under the weight. The drawers in the dresser were empty. The old wooden door matched the building. Ah! Stay away from me! I mean it! What the hell's up with this guy? Don't come in here! Stay away! Ah! Somebody has put the fear of God into him. Somebody, or some thing. And you know what? He's safe in there, and the thing is out here. I could hear muttering through the door. Someone was in there, pacing the room and talking to himself. That door wasn't going to open. It was the fuse box for the theater. It looked very old and very dangerous. It looked like a couple of the fuses had blown. There was only one fuse remaining. The support strut was wedged between the floor and the ceiling. It was holding up the floor of the room above. I guessed the strut was supporting the safe in the room above. I guessed the strut was supporting the safe in the room above. <gasps> The strut wouldn't budge. The friction from the floor was too great. That wouldn't work here. The grease paint was too old and hard to work into the gap. If only I had a liquid lubricant. A very old ladder, judging by the woodworm, a very dangerous one, too. Trying to use that thing would be suicidal. Either the door was stuck, or it was just locked. Locked. 
Maybe from the other side? Oh my God, George! Look at this! Is that really necessary? His chest has been just... burned away. I've seen dead bodies before, but this guy's a real award winner. Ugh. Ooh, looks like he had chicken for lunch. Whatever could have caused this, George? You've never eaten in an English restaurant? Seriously. I don't know. I'm a lawyer, not a pathologist. The body had been badly mutilated. Ugh. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. As I searched his pockets, I could swear he was watching me. But someone else had beaten me to it. All I found was an empty card holder. With a hair grip and some foil from a chewing gum wrapper, I could have knocked together a rudimentary device to fuse the lock. Or I could find the card that opened the door. I could see no way to open the door. I was willing to bet the card reader would open it. All I had to do was find a card. The button obviously opened the stage trap door. The heat from the old stage light was almost painful. The stage light was hot enough to melt the paint, but I couldn't reach it from the floor. The stage light was hot enough to melt the paint. As the grease paint melted, the smell of burning fat stung my nose. But at least it worked. Ah! That's hot! God damn! I hoped the melted grease paint would work as a lubricant. Even with the added grease, I still couldn't shift it on my own. Hey, Nico? Can you give me a hand here for a second? Of course, George. What do you want me to do? Help me pull this strut away from the ceiling. That's pretty dangerous, George. Just trust me, okay? 
Very well. Oh, God! That's one way to crack a safe. You didn't say you were trying to crack my skull, too. Just the usual slight miscalculation. You know me, Nico. You wouldn't be you without it. Nico seemed to be upset that I'd nearly killed her. Ah, but heck, look on the bright side. The safe had sprung open when it hit the floor. There were two things inside. A key card and some kind of amazing artifact. It had been hewn from stone. Strange crystals were embedded within it. My God! Nico, look at this! What is it? Whatever it is, Cesaro must think it's important. There was nothing left inside the safe. The oddly shaped artifact was encrusted with blue crystals. Hey, Nico, an elevator. We have a choice of down or down. You know, I've missed you. I've missed you too. Well, that's settled then. Shall we go? Look at this, Nico. What is it, George? It's some sort of symbol carved into the stone. They must have found it when they excavated this tunnel. It looks like forked lightning. I wonder what it means. Beats me. The stone looked heavy. I certainly wasn't going to pick it up. My God! Bruno was right. Oh, George, it's... Beautiful! Who could have built something like this? More to the point, what's it for? There's a bridge out to the center. Let's go see. It was an elevator. The type you'd find on a building site. The cage was down at the bottom. George, look at that. It's some kind of column of energy. Dragon power? Look inside. Looks like a stone of some sort. Wow. Held in place for thousands of years. Whoa! What the hell? Nico, did you see that? I did, George, but I don't believe it. Bizarre. It likes you, George. George, what just happened? It was solid a moment ago. I don't know. It's weird. What did you take? Just looks like a flat slab of rock with some kind of symbol like an omega on it. So what's a slab of rock doing inside the column of strange power? And why couldn't I get it? Beats me. Uh, Charisma? Watch it, fella. The stone had an Omega symbol on its surface.
What the heck was that? What's going on? Those guys are terrified. It's only one man. Why are they running? George, quickly. Someone is coming up in the elevator. Oh, no. It's Cesaro. Got his girlfriend, too. Nico, we don't have time to get past the elevator. Find somewhere to hide. What is he doing here? How did he get past all the guards? The men are weak. They don't understand what is at stake. Wait here a moment. We shall see what happens next. Petra! There they are! Kill them! Quick! George, this way! Fast enough, Blondie. Damn you! George, I'll hold the doors to stop the elevator going back down. See if you can find another way of keeping the doors open. I knew Harry wouldn't mind me using his bottle opener like this. Okay, Nico, you can let go. Good thinking, George. Stay back, Nico. They put guys at the top of the stairs. Great. Now what are we gonna do? Attack them and knock them unconscious? Get real, George. Yeah, you're right. Let's just find a way to get past them. Looks like we need to find another way out, Nico. Kind of stating the obvious, George. True, but I try to do it with style. No way was I touching those lights again. George, where are you going? We have to get out of here. Trust me, Nico, this way is safer, and I've got a friend waiting outside. So, where had Bruno disappeared to? Mr. Stobart, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apologies, but I must take the key from you. Quickly, mademoiselle. We must get him somewhere safe.
They managed to open it. Did they take? They took everything. <sighs> that is highly inconvenient. Now we must retrieve it. How shall I find them? Do not worry. I know where they will go next. What about this place? Not important. Our work is finished here. This Stobart, he has powers. I know. It is disconcerting, but not a problem. Kill them for me, Petra. Both of them. With pleasure. He's coming round. How can you tell? No joking, please, Andre. It was a big shock. How do you think I felt when you brought him in here? Ow. Slowly, George. I feel like somebody plugged me into the national grid. You are one lucky bunny, George. There's good news and bad news. It usually is. Give me the good news first. When you were attacked, you managed to steal something. Mm-hmm. The bad news? Your attacker stole the crystal artifact and got away. That's not all the bad news, though, is it? Oh, don't be silly, George. Andre and I are just good friends. Very good friends. Oh, you don't change. No, you. We don't need this, Andre. This is what you grabbed when you fell. Weird. Have you worked out the markings? They are quite baffling us. We should pool our knowledge. You're right, Nico. Bruno, would you like to bring these guys up to speed? No, I don't think so. I mean, recap what you know. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, where shall I start? Well, tell them about the dragon cult. Ah, yes. The dragon cult was formed by Sosaro after death of Grand Master at St. Ninians. He pulled together remnants of Neo Templars and made them into his own organization. Sounds like he should be thanking you, not trying to kill you. He continues the work started by Grand Master, using what they call dragon energy for his own purposes. This power is about to peak. It runs in cycles, each 12,000 years long. The current cycle is reaching its zenith. Susaro knows where is the Temple of the Dragon. It contains the means to enhance the power buildup, an extraordinary device known as the Armillary. What have you discovered, Andre? It seems that Suzaro is utilizing the secrets of the Voynich manuscript. But Vernon had only worked out part of it before he was killed. He did find out that the key of Solomon is somehow crucial to Suzaro's plan. What's the key of Solomon? It's an ancient book that's reputed to hold the wisdom of Solomon. Ah, this is a falsehood. It is an ancient stone device encrusted with crystals. Uh-oh. That's the thing we took from the safe. It must have been one of Cesaro's men who stole it back. Or a different group entirely. But who? Who knows? These people don't like appearing in the history books. What's the purpose of the Key of Solomon? Remember, I told you about the Temple of the Dragon? The main power source. There is a machine there. They call it the Armillary. Once it is running, the key is used to create a huge burst of dragon power. If Suzaro has got the armillary running, why hasn't he used the key already? Why keep it in a safe in Paris? Because you have to use the key at precisely the right moment. There is just a tiny door of opportunity. Uh, you mean window? A window? Not a door? I know, it makes no sense. Okay. The window lasts just a few days. Suzaro is waiting for that window. What are your thoughts, Nico? I keep thinking about the diagram. Is it a convergence of ley lines? It's possible, but I have never seen one like it. This could be how Cesaro found the location of the temple. But yes, you are right. This stone we found at the theater. Yes. I've seen this exact symbol before. My dear Georges, it is a Greek Omega symbol. You're bound to have seen it before. No, I mean this exact same style. Of course. The Congo. That's right. In the caves. The slot in the wall. Exactly. 
We got a lot of clues, but I think we've still got a way to go. The only solid lead we've got is the artifact and the jungle cave. I think I know where this is heading. You're right. The Congo. 